John Van Eye here, and today is Thursday, the 12th of October 2017. Try my friend when he just texts me. And I just want to have a little chat with him. Money. Oh, money. I didn't realise you were there. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, um, <coughs> um, I think it might be better if I left it for after after the Waitangi. Okay. Because there's too much to do yet. I've got too much to do yet. Oh. Yeah. Um, and uh, even if he doesn't do it, as long as he might be there with me so I can, I can, I can jump under and do it. I, I, yeah. I can't expect him at his age to get underneath the car and do it, uh, but uh, it's no trouble for me, but it's good to have someone around to talk to. Um, yeah, to, aye, aye. Yeah, what but, say? yeah, 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 because he's got an idea. I know where to go because I've been looking at the videos where, yeah. where, where the likely problem is, but um, um, no, I might leave it. Um, I was going to go, but it's a bit cold. And I, I'm, I'm still uh, coughing a little bit, uh, and I don't want to get any worse by getting a chill under the car. It, it might be a bit warmer after after the 28th. Um, so uh, just let him know that uh, that I'll leave it and I'll be down there uh, to do it, even at Jamie's. But it's a bit I got I, I I need blocks to block it up properly. I might fall on my on me. Yeah, but he might he might have some stands or something to, to put it yeah, underneath. Well, he huh? put his old cars in up to the up to the way they're going, you know. So yeah, yeah. Under, under yeah, no, well it, it, even if he brings a rope and tow me around there, yeah. then then I've got a safe place to do it because I I, yeah. I don't know Jamie because it, it's there's only wooden things to put underneath and they might just oh, fall okay. on me. I, yeah, I'd hate no. I'd hate it to fall on me because it's a heavy damn car. Um, but I started to get underneath it, but I I, I wasn't very happy about it. Uh, uh, so, so I got out of it and let it down. Yeah. I let it down and just left it. Um, I wasn't going to work under there if, if it shook and uh, fell over. Um, <coughs> hey, um, money, um, yeah. the shears and everything. I'm I'm going to um, kick it all off. And I've just got to do your certificate yet for the shares, but if you told me how many you want, then I'll, I can get it all ready, because I do have certificates for it. And, yeah. and um, I'm going... I'm, 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 four. Four. Oh, okay, four. Okay, four. Yeah. That's, that's fine, because I'm accounting for everybody that's, that's got shares. <clears throat> and I'll put them on a sideline because they're emailing me with all their details, but I'll just tell them oh, to hang off until I just, just count. Just, uh, just need to push the flag when there's something going on. Yeah, yeah, no, well, I'm, I've got on the front page, I've got to activate it, that it's got the ANZ yeah. account. So they just push oh, the account and, and put the details and put the money straight in. That way, um, um, Cecile is there to put out the receipt. Straight away and and hook it into the tag pay system. Um, I'll, I'll still need money to hook up the tag pay, but uh, if I can get, get that hooked up, I'll be away. Uh, with it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It does because I'm going to say that up at Waitangi. I'm just going to say if anybody wants to buy shares, it'll help to pay him. Uh, and then that, that because it's it's well known now on 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 the site that yes. it's credible enough to take deposits and and things like that. There's a few yeah, other. Yeah. Huh? Well, that what they, that what I think uh, uh, we we was suggesting. You know, yeah. Us to pay for it. I think they I think they they might have some him and John Tana might have something um, to yeah. put more in, oh, but then the, they'll get yeah. more shares in if they yeah. put more money in. 
So they'll, they'll be first in with, uh, with any benefits that come out of it. That includes the fraud as well. They, yes, get, they get yes. the spin-off on the fraud yeah. and the intended uh, intended business that comes out of yeah. the uh, uh, um, fraud, fraud and the tidal turbines yes. um, um, in lieu of it being built. But um, there's other things, the power note, when I sell the yeah. first power note, that's just going to kick everything into life. And, and you're giving uh, free shares too? Yeah, yeah right? free shares. There's plenty, plenty to give away. It's never going to run out. Yeah, so that it's, it's an incentive to get them registered. Once they're registered, they can claim what I'm going to claim back. Even that yeah. one trillion pound note on John Key's head in the ANZ bank, that's sitting there. Oh, <coughs> that's yeah. 80, 80 million New Zealand dollars interest. Right. Straight off. So I, I've got to split it up into the shareholders. Which the, right. <coughs> and I'm working that out with um, <coughs> Jackie in, in Scotland. Because <coughs> right. she'll be looking after things there, and my little girl will take over the bank. Uh, she's she's right. um, she's in uh, Italy at the moment. And she's going to live in Spain. Yes, my yes. little girl. So she's she's in the right place to do things up that way. But um, uh, Tracy, my daughter, has um, been in contact with her in, in yeah. Italy and said, no, she's um, she's doing all right. She's she's an old pair that's looking after kids' uh, job. She's got a job there to, to keep her going um, in the three months of her visa before she goes over to Spain. Um, hey, uh, something has just come up with uh, Sean Elias. The, 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 the courts are in trouble. I yeah, just, I saw, I saw that on uh, Facebook. Yeah. yeah, I just put it on. No, I split it all out. I split it all out into count one, two, three, right up to count 60 as cited evidence. Fact cited evidence in our Tuong Waka Marae native um, uh, magistrate court. They're, they're on the rocks because she's crying foul that the police are taking over and leaving the courts right out of it. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, the police yeah. have taken control of, of the courts yeah. and they're going straight into their private business to make money for themselves because the government has cut their funding. The, uh, the government, the government has, has derailed everything yeah. so, so that the court has no power on what the government does. The politics have taken over the court. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. Bill English and John Key started that all off. That's why he got out of it, because it was going to go pear-shaped before long. Now, Winston Peters is still ma haven't made his mind up. They, they were all in trouble. Because Sean Elias is just warning them, be careful, because there's something looming, and it's us. They, 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 they are fearful of what... what the Moai Crown is doing, and with the British looking at them, to yeah. make it, waiting for them to make one wrong move. Yeah. And that's why I did that this morning. I've been all morning put, splitting it out. If you just have a look at my site now, you'll see it's your name on there as well, of, I, as a descendant of, of uh, Tira Waikato, because <coughs> Alfred Mitchell was trying to stitch himself, stick himself yeah. to the yeah. Manukau, and I, I said, no. You, 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 your ancestors sold the sold Moriori land before 1840. Yeah? And, and, uh, and he's saying, oh, he's a descendant of, of Manuka. No, where's your documents? Nothing. Just all hearsay or, or assuming that that's what they're, the convicts from Australia are assuming that they, they own this and that. <coughs> that's why they're hanging around. I'll let, I'll let them have a talk, you see, in our, in our hearing. So that you can see where they're coming from. Yeah. See? Now, now it's out and open and everybody's reading what I'm saying to Alfred. Yes. Because Alfred's saying, oh, I'm a this and I'm a that. I'm, you know, fuck a puppy here and the marriage are like that. Oh, I fuck a puppy here and there and everywhere. But they got no contract. Uh, no one's got, no. and the fuck I'm meaning I got no contract either. No, no. That's why I said to Bundy, you've got no contract. You, you've got no, no right to the money. <laughs> <coughs> it's only me and you. Only me and you. <coughs> I'm the executive of, of the Manukau Trust of, of 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 that, and you're you're the direct descendant. Unless any other Moriori's want to stand up to the plate, there's nobody. So the court will take that as being as being law. We passed law. So so if you read what I just put about um, Sean Elias, because she's on the rocks with me too. 
because she she took over the queen when the queen had no seal. About the judge's uh, head, I told I, t I was writing to her for a long time. I said, "You got no, you, you got no this and I made a video. You got no this, no that." And and she yeah. was in the Lombard scam with with uh, Doug Graham, yeah. and, and and she mixed up with their horse horse scam and 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 a few other things. <coughs> and she she opened up the parliament when I told her not to, because they, the governor general had no seal of the queen. And that's right. There's no head of state here, really. There's no no legal head of state here. I said that to the judge. You got no that's legal. Right. You got no head of state. They're just assuming that Hi. Sean Elias is, is is the queen in its, her place, and Jerry Matapurai is is in London replacing her, and she's in the EU Parliament trying to bounce back home. Yeah. Yeah? And I said, no, you you stay right out of it. You stay right out of it when I get there. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah, no. <coughs> of course, I went to have acupuncture yesterday and I stopped coughing. I only just started um, uh, just a little early, about two hours ago. I didn't cough all night after the acupuncture and the cupping. I, 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 yeah, I had a good sleep when I woke up. No coughing until until about two hours ago. Yeah, I started I start, start the blooming thing start up again. Uh, otherwise, it's no headache or anything. It's just a bloody nuisance. Yes, yeah, so so now we're getting stronger. By the time the 28th come, we're that strong that we can just head straight into the police and tell them, right, stand down the road. We're taking Cook Street. We we we, 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 we can put the pressure straight on them with this. What Sean Elias has said, just said, she said um, that they're going around the courts. Yeah. The the, the police. Huh? You already told them to stand down. Yeah, yeah, I already told them to stand there, but there's no reason why we can't go ahead and take the property yeah, right. with Graham right. Elliott. But I'm waiting for his bill. I've, I sent him, yeah, a, I yeah. sent him a letter, <coughs> and I'm sending him the, the rest of it today. I put that on, on Facebook as well, those, those uh, videos. And and now this, I'm sending him this uh, Sean Elias uh, uh, article. And that's the latest from the courts. That that, that that's really going to to put the acid on 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 the police. The police the police are acting out of their jurisdiction. They are not lawyers. That's what I told. That's what I told uh, my barrister uh, Shannon Withers. They are not lawyers to make decisions over me. See, they're not qualified to to make any. And that's what Sean Elias is trying to say. Sean Elias is trying to say the police have not got the experience um, when there's complaints about them uh, um, doing, a, doing a, a legal job when they're not lawyers. See, so they're getting into more trouble legally. Anyway, that's all I wanted to tell you that and that, and that uh, I'll, I'll get around to your, your sheer thing as soon as I get this gone and sent the thing off to uh, Shannon Withers, I mean, I mean to um, uh, uh, Graham Allen. Then I've got time to, to spend tomorrow on the shares. T today today was just this bit I wanted to clear up with Alfred and and, <coughs> and put that onto the website. I'm, I'm going to put all these and screen print the the book the book and put it onto 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 the website myipowerhouse.com website so that it's all there and you can see it there with the signatures on and everything. And then the British will pick it up. I haven't sent it off to Britain yet. I won't do it until I until I get yeah, get, yeah. get clear of everything here. With the, with, ready, yeah, there, there's yeah. plenty of time to send it off to them, but they know what I'm like and, and what I write anyway. So they just yes. pick out the, pick out what's going on. They're just watching what, who makes a wrong move. Yeah. <coughs> it ain't us. It's not us. <coughs> anyway. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. No questions. Okay, then, Okay, uh, money. Yeah. Yeah. Glad to yeah. talk to you. Bye. Have a good day. Okay, bye. There we are, that's money. Good on. I d I'll leave the car. I'll leave the I was going to do it, but it's cold. I'm, it, it's chill. Uh, I don't want to make any worse than what I am. Uh, but uh, today is um, Thursday, the 12th of October 2017. And just an update. I just want to show you uh, what I've just done with Sean Elias. Um, uh, article uh, statement she made that um, um, the, the the government 
is, is, is what she say? Chief Justice, we need to be careful. You need to be careful, right? Because we are standing right over you and the British. And she knows it. She knows there is problems within her organisation because she's the one that allowed this to happen. Now it's backfired on her. It's all backfired. And I've been watching. I know what's going on inside that government. Now, I'm going to show you what I have just did with her article. Um, written, I'll, I'll read it out. I'll, I'll, read, I'll, I'll make this video specifically for this uh, article that she wrote. And, um, hang on, I see my computer's a little bit slow. I've got to hook my new one up. Um, uh, really, really, um, oh gosh, come on. I have to real restart my computer all the time, which is a damn nuisance. I'm going to restart it. Closed windows. Every time I do this, just because it sticks, it's full right up. I've got to put a new one on. Right now, off we go again. I want to. I want to make sure there's enough video on this to, to read it right through. What I just did. I split our article up in bits and made count one to count sixty in all the statements she made. Split out only the ones that are relevant to our. Magistrate Court, Native Magistrate Court in Te Waka Marae, Native Magistrate Court in Exum, Auckland, New Zealand. So now it's speeding up again and back I go to the article. Okay, right, here we go. I make it big so I can read it. And to Alfred Mitchell, I'm just um, um, I'm just bewildered by what what he's doing is attaching himself to the Manukau. You can't do that, Alfred, because we're talking commercial contracts in this Te Waka Native Magistrate Court. It's not about Faka Papa or Faka Mini or anything else. It's contracts, business. Anything in Auckland is business, and I'm afraid that Faka Papa and Faka meaning uh, don't have contracts. They never did. It was only the Manukau that had a contract in 1820, way before anybody had a chance to think about what's a contract. And they've never even learned how contracts work right up to today. 183 years and they still don't know. And, and Alfred Mitchell says, John, how am I locked out in a third party New South Wales News and Company? when my Tupuna chief, Te Waikato, is the Moriori Paramount chief and that my Tupuna chief, Moetara, was one of the 13 chiefs who adopted the 20th of March 1834 flag for his heroes and successors. My whānau signed the 1835 Whakapunata. Well, they were waving the flag around, but not contracts. That's a contract flag, Alfred. It's nothing else. They didn't know what contracts, banks and conveyancing instruments were because they weren't bothered about it. Then today they are still the same. They're still worrying about tikanga and whakapapa here, there and everywhere. These are Maoris. And nothing about contracts. When you look at it, there's nothing about contracts they talk about. They only talk about poking the stick here and there and there and there and there and there, saying that my land over there, 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 there. And nothing in it. That's why you don't get no money out of it, talking like that. You get nothing. You, you can't play this game if you talk like that. No. You're either in it or you're out of it. I'm going to find um, Sean Rice. I'm going to go back through my files since I've just reopened it. Still coughing. I didn't cough all night. All right, here we go. I'll open this page up. Continue reading. Okay, I'm going to show you this in a minute. Take my time a bit here. But I'll just show you. I'll go to the end here. Okay, right, here we go. Before you go, just runs out. Okay, there we go. That's Sean Elias. 
Chief Justice of New Zealand, who has no seal of the Queen in the courts above the judges' heads, and she has taken that role as being as if she's the Queen, and she's got herself horribly in trouble with me as being a higher jurisdiction than her courts in this Te Waka Marae Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. Britain straight there. Now, I've watched her through the years with the Lombard and the horse scams and everything that she's done outside the law. In, in fact, opening up Parliament without a seal of the Queen or Westminster and assuming um, that it was okay to put Jerry Matapurai Andrews as the new Governor General. I warned her, don't put him in because you've got no jurisdiction of authority, of admiralty, over these lands, over us. She went ahead and did it. A powerful speech by Chief Justice Sean Elias has New Zealand judges and lawyers taking, talking, and any new government on notice that the rule of law is under threat. Certainly is. It's under threat because we're here with a higher law than your law. So I'm going to go back through this to count 60 right there. I'll start from the beginning and read it right through and try and get the whole lot in, okay? Right, I did this two hours ago. That was at 10 o'clock. Enter the true sovereign authority jurisdiction of King William IV, Maui Crown, Te Unga Waka Marae, Native Grand Jury Magistrate Court, Epsom, Auckland, as the only legitimate and true legal authority in New Zealand, while Sean Elias is a fraudster, defrauded the public of New Zealand and the Paramount Chiefs, commercial landowners of New Zealand country, stood in for the Queen's seal that is absent in the courts of New Zealand, with herself as a pretend Queen that Moai Crown King William IV Trust, executive landlords, bank creditors, charged her as being a threat against our national security interests, along with her New Zealand police force and ex-Prime Minister John Key, assisting terrorism in USA, America federal state government and his TPPA scam and his Panama Papers fraud and theft of 13 million New Zealand dollars for Hillary Clinton's, Hillary Clinton's CIA, IS, ISIS, American, Israeli, Saudi, Rothschild Bank, Bank War, terrorist scam, fraud, corrupted crown business operation. Dated on Thursday today, 12th of October 2017 for the record in the Te Unga Waka Native Magistrate Court, Epsom, Auckland, New Zealand, Britain and UK. <coughs> for the record in Edinburgh Magistrate Court, Scotland and Westminster Magistrate Court, Westminster City, UK, High Court, UK. For the record in the World Court, Brussels, King William III of Orange, Netherlands, Dutchman. St. Patrick's Church, Church Magistrate Court, in Belfast. Rehashed by John Wano, me, as fact cited evidence against the New Zealand CIB police fraud corrupted financial self investment bank interests as private corporate business operations, threat against the public of New Zealand and the Paramount Chief's commercial land ownership of British Admiralty Court Martial Law, Native Magistrate Court of New Zealand, financial investment bank, private contract two party, British Paramount Chief's Native Court interests. Chief Justice Sean Elias, we need to be careful, quote from her. Tim Murphy, Tim Murphy is the co-editor of Newsroom. He writes about politics, foreign affairs, Auckland and media. Twitter, A, at T Murphy NZ. Right, I've split her article, her statement, into counts of court citations in our Te Waka Marae Native Magistrate Court. Count 1. Chief Justice Sean Rice has the country's judges and lawyers talking. Count 2. <coughs> <coughs> and any new government on notice that the rule of law is under threat. Count 3. Tim Murphy reports, Chief Justice, we need to be careful. Quote, Chief Justice Sean Rice. Judges don't engage in politics, which is at times a pity. Count four, she has raised questions about cost-cutting, ad hoc, hasty and non-consultative 
consultative decision-making and widening devolution of powers to the police. Count five, rather than the courts that have sounded alarm bells in the legal fraternity. Count six, it is clear that moves by the Ministry of Justice to clip the judiciary wings administratively, incrementally, and by stealth. Count seven, as well as government policy to treat court, the courts as the same as government departments and drive judges to achieve arbitrary targets have rankled. Count eight, she urged lawyers to demonstrate why the changing attitude by the state towards the courts, count nine, is dangerous to rule of law. Count ten, new powers for police to reissue pre-charged warnings for which those concerned must admit their offending. Count 11, that can remain on people's records and be used against them in the future. Count 12, a trial in Christchurch of cases avoiding courts altogether. Count 13, and being referred by police to community or neighbourhood panels. Count 14, described by one jurist as an alternative justice system without the protections and without the trained participants. Count 15, the courts being treated as part of a wider public management model that integrates criminal justice agencies such as police and prisons. Count 16, in several of these matters, the Chief Justice asks if sufficient debate or public consultation has been undertaken. Count 17, there may be very good administrative sense in much of this and it may suit business practitioners, practitioners and judges and prisoners, she said. Count 18. But what it shows is that the courts in the middle of the pipeline are not seen as standing apart from the whole of government effort. Count 19. Ambitious talk of physical courts becoming a thing of the past. In some cases, the judges remotely considering cases electronically for defendants appearing via camera. Count 20. In several of these matters, the Chief Justice asks if sufficient debate or public consultation has been undertaken. Count 21. They are not seen as a separate, separate institution of government. Count 22. There is a risk in the blurring of the distant role of courts. Count 23. She said further, straws in the wind involved the submergence of courts within the wide range of operations run by the Ministry. Count 24. There is little agreement about where judicial administration takes over the ministry administration leaves off. Count 25. These matters of separation were flagged as problems from the time the Ministry of Justice took over the departments of courts. For courts. Count 26. They have become acute because of the erosion of the culture of courts within the ministry. Count 27. Dame Sean said there could be merit in some of the measures to deliver justice by electronic means. Count 28. But who is questioning where there is going and where this is going and how it affects the impartial, equal and public delivery of criminal justice? Count 29. Her most detailed concern was over what she termed encouragement to plead. Count 30. The common law has traditionally regarded admissions of guilt with suspicion when, she, when made under inducements. Count 31. Just as in, is the case with confessions made to the police, guilty pleas may be false. Count 32. They may be entered into because of the calculation of risk or simply to put an end to uncertainty. Count 33. Rather than because a guilty plea is right. Count 34. There is a growing literature and case law which case law on the risks of inaccuracy in guilty pleas. Count 35, there's a risk of over criminalization, criminalization if people are insensitized. Count 36, into acquiescing, acquiescing in alternative resolution. Count 37, because it seems comparatively costless at the time. Count 38, she had been surprised to even hear some judges speaking Judges speak of their success in obtaining pleas by giving defendants sentence indications. Count 35. Achievement of disposal through sentence indication takes matters to a new level. Count 40. Has there been removal of some judicial inhibitions in criminal justice? Count 41. Does it pose risk for some of the values we have treated 
as fundamental to criminal justice. Count 42, rush to plea is not a goal we should be producing, pursuing. We should be pursuing. Count 43, her second major strain was over justice being moved away from the courts and out, and out of public view. Count 44, pre-charge warnings and resolution of cases through community justice panels have consequences for those who are dealt with under them. Count 45, not only must offending be admitted, but the admission formed part of the police record and was maintained on that personal criminal record, uh, criminal history. Count 46 could be used for determining future warnings and used in any future court actions. Count 47, Dame Sean said, the information obtained through these processes, including the acknowledgement of guilt. Count 48 is also information which may be shared by the police with other agencies. Count 48 and can be used in police vetting, increasingly, increasingly resorted to by public and private bodies. Count 50, she added, there are therefore significant public law powers which potentially provide opportunities, opportunities for intrusive social control of the individuals affected. <coughs> Count 51. There is the risk of over criminalization if people are insensitized into acquiescing, acquiescing in alternative resolution because it seems comparatively costly at the time. Count 52. Towards the end of her speech, the Chief Justice observed. Count 53, it is difficult to escape the feeling that some of these apparently ad hoc developments may not have been thought through in terms of fundamental fundamental principles. Count 54, such as the impact of the presum presumption of innocence, the right to silence and the right of, to legal advice. Count 55, cost-cutting was obliquely criticised. Count 56, uniform, equal and predictable justice. Count 57, may not be speedily and it is not likely to be cheap. Count 58, I do not expect criminal justice ever was speedy or cheap. Count 59, its careful observance is however best policy for a state that aspires to live under the rule of law. Count 60, Maui Crown, Federal State, Commonwealth Government of the World, Britain, UK, New Zealand, New World Order, dual government, two-party private contract under Westminster Magistrate Court and Tuunga Waka Native Magistrate Court, Epsom, Auckland, New Zealand, Admiralty, Court Martial Law, Jurisdiction of King William IV, 1834, Declaration of War, Commercial Trading Bank, Flag, Sovereign Authority of the Paramount Chiefs Commercial Landowners of New Zealand and Pacific Islands, Discovery Titles of Maui Crown, and Moriori, Paramount Chief, Tira Waikato, Whare Herehere Manukau, and King George, 1820-1830, Crown Land Patent Titles in Edinburgh Magistrate Bank Private Contract Sale and Purchase Agreement to the King's Conquered Lands, Wealth and Inheritance throughout the world. That should have been King George IV, 1820-1830. Comments. Newsroom does not allow comments directly to this website. We invite all readers who wish to discuss a story to leave a comment to visit us on Twitter or Facebook. We also welcome your news tips and feedbacks via email contact at newsroom.com.co.nz. Thank you. <clears throat> so there you go. I'm just saying um, this a man um, that put this article together for Sean on Ice, um, what's his name? Uh, Tim Murphy knows true right, or, or rightly so, that legally you can use Facebook, Twitter, Google and YouTube as fact-cited evidence in any court hearing. So we have our own courts over the police. This is a warning to the police. I have already as the surrogate King William IV and surrogate King William III and surrogate St. Patrick's Order Church in Belfast, where my ancestors come from, Rogan, judges and Cosgrove lawyers, and also surrogate St. Mary's Church in Tiki Tiki, 1831, births, deaths and marriages certificates are our titles on my own Wanoa Marae, Rahui Marae in Tiki Tiki, um, and Whakawhetira, Native Magistrate Court. 
jurisdiction of authority over you police who have none of that behind you and the way you're operating over the courts you you have gone over the top of the courts and you're not qualified lawyers that's what I said to the judge in Auckland District Court when I won my case to Judge Grant I said to the police they are not qualified lawyers to make legal decisions that we can as the King's partner, two-party contract partner. They are third parties. The police are third party in this two-party contract <coughs> with any landowner in this country under the Maori Land Court titles, Lynn's and the Crown Grant titles in Auckland that are British titles, our titles that prevail. Now, the police, New Zealand, CIB, Auckland Central Police Station, take notes from me today and the Paramount Chiefs, Bundy Waitai, Cook Island, Taijin, Hongi Hika, Descendant, and Manahi, Parapara Mohini, Moriori, Descendant of Terawakato Wharehere in Manukau, 1820, Canadian Treaty, King George IV, New Zealand Company, the first commercial land owner, ship, contract, sale and purchase agreement in Edinburgh Magistrate Court to Awaroa Native Magistrate Court in Helensville, Manukau title, seized of the New South Wales titles and put it into the Manukau Company titles in Awaroa Native Magistrate Court Bank in Helensville on a 10 acre block that I've got the titles here for and the flag sat there on that 10 acre block where the court was standing. I'm going to put it back up again on that 10 acre block. And so the police, you're out of order. As far as I'm concerned, you're a third party that got in the way of me and the two landowners of 77 Cook Street or originally one by 61 Cook Street. You covered up the fraud. You are liable one trillion pounds each policeman in this country each politician in this country, each judge in this country, each, every Crown corporate private company, you're liable a trillion pounds each on each individual head. And I'm taking Pope Francis multi propria as destroyed all your Admiralty court martial laws, your UCC laws, your canon law, your courier law, your civil laws, and your Admiralty laws. He destroyed the whole lot and that leaves only us, the Paramount Chiefs, with any say in martial law in the world. Do you get that? Now we're going to stick that right on top of you, that you're not to get in the way when we go on to Cook Street. We're seizing that land and the rest of the country on that basis. That if any of you individuals have no title better than what we've got here in these books, then you have no say. put it away somewhere. I'm just saying, you have no title to this country over the top of a Moriori title of Manaka. Manaka Fai. I don't know where to put it. Oh, here we are. Here we go. Now, unless you please come up with a title to refute this, then you have no law no case, no jurisdiction over us, the Paramount Chiefs, and myself, the surrogate King, William IV, and the flag, and our head here, over you. You have no queen. You have nothing to base your jurisdiction on. And I've just read this out as a statement to the whole world, what Sean Elias Chief Justice of this country and the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of New Zealand, the Chief Justice has taken over the Chancery position in Britain, because I already know that, and the Chief Justice there is our legal partner, two-party contract. Your third party, police, your third party, Sean Rice and Bill English, 
and your thugs. I'm calling you thugs in there because we're going to pull you out one by one and stick this to you. Starting from the two landowners on Cook Street and the convincing lawyers who transferred the title and Bailey's. We're going to bankrupt you with this. I'll just pull out the Bankruptcy Act in here. 1984 pages of law. That's not even going back to King George's law. King George IV and Te Waikato Whareherea de Manukau. Private contract of Admiralty under this flag. Declaration of war. We've got a declaration of war on you, please, please, in New Zealand. Because unless you can come up and furnish proof, then each of you, one by one, is going to get stitched up from Natalie Flower Dew Brown. We're in this jurisdiction of a native magistrate court in Epsom, and you never appeared in the court. You're defaulted. <coughs> Tim Duffy, CIB, defaulted. Natalie Flower Dew Brown, CIB detective, defaulted. Tim Duffy, CIB detective, defaulted. Auckland Central Police Station, Aaron Pascoe. CRB, detective, defaulted contract. You all broke the law of New Zealand and broke the laws in this, our laws on this country, British laws. You're going to seize all the lands back into the British title and the Moai Crown King William IV Trust, commercial landowners. Now, I'm saying to Alfred Mitchell, I gave you one of these books. Don't touch it. Do not hook yourselves to it because you'll be in trouble. You're likely to get a trillion pound note on your head if you play around with this. Do not use this book. I gave it to you for a reference of who we are. Now you give me a book of your reference of who you are before I go up to Hokianga. You better have that ready, Alfred, because we're getting serious. We're getting serious. We've got our stamps, the Moai Crown stamp, Manahis, just a little piece stamp, notary, and the two chiefs, Te Rawakato Wharehere Manukau and Hongiheka. But Hongiheka did not sign the Sale and Purchase Agreement to sell this country and the Pacific Islands. It was only Te Rawakato Wharehere Manukau that sold this country to King George IV, Crown Land Patents. That makes Manahi and myself, the executives, administrators, uh, rather, administrators of the Moriori Manukau Trust. I'm the executor of Moi Manukau's Freemasons instruments over the lands and over all the commerce. <coughs> okay, you got that? <coughs> We have a declaration of war against you, please. <coughs> right there on this flag. It's a declaration of war on third parties who get in the way. All you, please, have libeled each other and covered up the fraud. It's not a conspiracy. It's fact. I'm accusing you, please, of defrauding the public of New Zealand for your own private investment bank interests. You stole land and everything using a queen that's not there. You fabricated the whole of your existence and for that there is consequence. There is a consequence to pay for your <coughs> crimes of church and state of John Key's crimes, you're linked to him and linked to Queen Elizabeth and the Rothschild Bank's crimes of church and state. <coughs> you're linked to the US federal state government, United States of America government, US federal state uh, uh, Congress, United Nations, TPPA, ISIS, Israel, Bank of England, City of London, private companies, these all private companies, Vatican City, private company, Queen Elizabeth II, private company, Buckingham Palace, private company, 
Washington DC private company, British Columbia private company, IMF private company, EU Parliament private company, biggest can fraud out, <coughs> and the list goes on. NZ Invest private company, New Zealand. Intuition New Zealand Limited, private companies, New Zealand. You get the bill, 917 million trillion trillion pound notes, right in this box. <coughs> it's all here, the invoices are here to ANAX in Britain. And a trillion pounds on each of your heads. That's not the land, that's just you, the perpetrators or the thugs. The, the, the thugs. This is the one for Cook Street, the land. <coughs> 2.715800 billion. That's just for stealing the land. Okay? There, right there. Right? Robert the Bruce and King William the Fourth. Right there. That's the power note. That's our power note. Sitting in the NJ Bank in Auckland, ready to cash. On your head. That's the 970 million trillion trillion power note with Jamie Patrick, or the Patrick, St. Patrick family, and myself, the Mo Moai crowd. Okay, and uh, St. Mary's Church. <coughs> That's your bill. You people that I just named. Corporate elite thugs. That's the title to New Zealand right there. That final up on there. From Hoi, Manakaonis. Ancestor, Terawakato Whareheri in Manakao. In Edinburgh Magistrate Court. There's the 970 million trillion trillion pound note with King Ernest Augustus V, 64 years old, reigning monarch, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, Aotea, New Zealand, the Pacific Islands, and the Commonwealth countries of the world. New World Order. That's our oath of office going to this king right now from the Paramount Chief. He's the rightful king, heir to the throne, and we're going to throw the Queen right out of it. She's in the EU Parliament, she can go back there and live over there in King William III of Orange land that we are his second party private contract partner. Now, she's got nowhere to move. Here's John Key here. I'm just showing you, this book is lethal up against you, John Key, Panama Papers, and 13 million New Zealand dollars taxpayer money that you defrauded and gave to Hillary Clinton and the Clinton Foundation and her terrorist organization. Okay, so there's the chief, Tira Waikato, Whareheadehead and Manukau and, and uh, Hongi Hika on this power note. Okay, turn on this power note. One billion trillion power note over the land in New Zealand. Right, we're going to peel these off one by one against you people. And there I am in the Waitangi Marae <coughs> King's Bench Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. On the 15th of April 2016, we opened up the Waitangi Marae with that British ship on dry land next to the courthouse that belongs to us. We're going to seize that after we seize Cook Street. That's the end of you people, you police and everybody. <coughs> You're going to build and then butcher. <coughs> <coughs> what <do> you see? <coughs> private police, New Zealand private police. Look, I've got all their certificates of business. They're running for themselves. Okay, you can see that? Company's office, certificate of incorporation, New Zealand private police limited, 914119. NZBN 9429037815097. This is to certify that the NZ Private Police Limited was incorporated under the Companies Act 1993 on the 8th day of July 1998. Right there, people. Got a Queen there and a Maori, and there's no Queen here. How bizarre is that? And the Maori is an invention of the Queen, and it's corrupted. The Maori word belongs to the Crown Corporation, and they invented it. It has no...
basis of title to anything in this land over the Maui Crown and Moriori title. There's the Holy See, a polis, an apolistic letter issued motu propria of the Supreme Pontiff Francis on the jurisdiction of judicial authorities of Vatican State, city state, in criminal matters. Yeah, all criminal matters are in this motu propria, that's why he got rid of all your laws, because you thugs are operating the police here under that, that jurisdiction of the Holy See. The competent judicial authorities of Vatican State shall also exercise penal jurisdiction over crimes committed against the security, the fundament, fundamental interest or the patrimony of the Holy See. I'm reading it out, see? So that's, that's just part of it. And then it goes on about government officials being part of that uh, crime that's going on in the government in Wellington. Here's our company registered in London. Maui Powerhouse Group Limited, 944-79444. Right there. Okay. The company's office put, put two limited names after the end of it. So, so that's all I wanted to say for now before this video runs out. So long as you got what I'm saying. <coughs> I'll just burn out the rest of it <coughs> in finishing off what I'm saying. Um, I'll just check who's trying to get a hold of me. Um, oh, it's somebody else. I got my partner in in um, um, Philippines. Yeah, that, there's the bill there, right? The invoice to Anex uh, Invoice Company in Britain, UK. I haven't action to get a will that makes you pay up, John Key, and all you people, you got the bill coming from them. They are British, and they are going to send you the bill. Here's a bill here. I'm going to put this online. I'm, I'm, I'm going to screen print this book, and I'm going to put it online so that you can see as evidence in our hearings that we're going to conduct over Cook Street before we take the whole place out, the whole country. Okay, there's the Waitangi Marine King's Bench Native Court there, in this book. Right? I didn't do this for nothing. I did this with Mohi Manakau, Paramount Chief, for a long, long time, over 20 years. I put this all together with him. Okay? I've got his mandate and I've got his signatures that allows me to be the executor of his estate lands. Now, here's all the defendants here. Okay, in this book, starting with John Key. First defendant, Prime Minister John Key. Theft of the St. Patrick's Eight Point Star on our 1834 Declaration of War flag against pirates and thugs like him and the rest of New Zealand Crown Corporation's fraud corrupted courts. Trading Bank War Head of our Queen Victoria Trust, Queen Elizabeth II, no longer the seal of the courts of legit illegitimate New Zealand laws. Second defendant, James Pierce Brown, in Sun Brent Roundtree.